driving in Tokyo with my friend Ono-chan. Usually when I drive alone, I used to stop at the traffic signals and ask the traffic policeman how to go this way, how to go this way. That time when Ono-chan was sitting next to me, I stopped at the traffic policeman. She was screaming at me. She said, no, 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 don't ask him, don't ask him. I said, what's the fun? Driving in Tokyo with my friend Ono-chan. Usually when I drive alone, I used to stop at the traffic signals and ask the traffic policeman how to go this way, how to go this way. That time when Ono-chan was sitting next to me, I stopped at the traffic policeman. She was screaming at me. She said, no, 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 don't ask him, don't ask him. I said, what's the fun? <laughs> Traffic policeman is it's our duty to ask. She said, no, no, please pull the car to the side. I pulled the car to the side. Then she was telling me where you want to go. She opened a book, a map book. And she goes through the book and studies with it. In Japan, children are taught, you should not disturb the traffic policeman or anybody for that matter. Before you go for a journey, you must study the route properly hundred times before you go. With that, I understood, oh, read the fine prints and in India I find nobody reads the fine print but with the Japanese kids I find the smallest word they read thoroughly to understand that I mean before they ask a question if they get a pamphlet they read thoroughly for us reading is out of the question just throwing questions that made us a slave that made us a nobody that made us to run to the hospitals 31st story from the Gateless Gate, from the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Reps. Joshu investigates. A traveling monk asked an old woman who the road to Taizan, a popular temple supposed to give wisdom to the one who worships there. Old woman said, go straight ahead. When the monk proceeded a few steps, she said to herself, he also is a common church goer. A popular temple supposed to give wisdom to the one who worships. Worships is you do your samskriti. If you go to a place, you have to be prepared to enter into that place. Before you enter into the place, you have to make sure that you have enough time. We used to practice. And when I was in Japan, the people who come for practice, they sometimes take half day leave. They might come two days a week or three days a week for practice. Half day leave they take. Because they, the thing is, if they before the class starts, one hour before the class they do the stretching. And one hour after the class they do the stretching. And then they sit with the seniors, chit chat for another one hour before they go out to have a beer or whatever it is. Mm. They spend around four to five hours, they don't attend the class. Understanding the seniors, understanding the juniors, stretching with them. Stretching is very important before you start any exercise. Others you'll end up with you know, pulled muscle, sprain. Nobody does it. Even in the class, two hours class. And I hardly I see now two hour class. Bum, 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 bum. That is not happening. When that is not happening, then where can you, uh, when it strikes, when it is in the highest temperature, Yes, it strikes, yes. it melts to the highest temperature. Your every art, every technique melts so that you can feel the beauty only in the highest temperature. But that comes only when you do your stretching. Stretching is very one hour stretching before, one hour stretching after. After that, sitting and joking and ah, laughing with the seniors. And then taking a shower bath, then going out with them for a drink or a bite. That is one thing to be understood. Here, what she said, a popular devil is supposed to give wisdom to the one who worships. They will get wisdom. Or the one who worships them means if you go for a class, you will get the wisdom. Who worships there, who practices there. Not just to grab, you go for a class for one hour, you grab and you run away. One hour before, one hour after. If you call for a meeting also, you are there one hour before. 
Japanese called a meeting and all the newspapers, the media was given the report that meeting will start at 9 o'clock and uh, all the media came and they were shocked. 9 o'clock, the doors were all locked. They couldn't find anybody. Then they found something went wrong. They knocked at the door and the door was opened. They were shocked. They said 9 o'clock is a meeting, but people already started arriving in the early morning, 5 o'clock itself. So they completed the meeting by 7 o'clock. <laughs> now we're sitting in chit chat. Such is the beauty of understanding. They go to the uh, Hindu of, uh, weddings. Not a single word is spoken about the Hindu culture, Hindu Sanskriti. A pujari will throw some bum, 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 bum like that. Look at the Christian churches. I'm not supporting the Christian community, but look at the Christian culture. The church father will be in there for the mass to explain about whatever their philosophy it is. And then talk about the boy and the girl. That understanding is what worship. The one who worships there gives wisdom. This temple is supposed to give wisdom to the one who worships there. You will get wisdom when you go to your mommy and daddy's house to get prepared. Not to go there and show off with your beautiful cars and motorbikes and your big, big um, IT company jobs. You go to the house, you strip like how the Japanese businessmen, the top ranking businessmen and the politicians goes like an ordinary man into the Japanese Zen temple. They clean up the whole area, cleans the toilet. Nobody knows and sits in meditation, come back. They just entered. Only when they enter, they, they come to know so and so has entered, but nobody disturbs them. And they do it every 15 days, every month. Here, who does it? They all come here to have food and talk whether this is good or that is good. And when they, you're coming, you have to make sure you save, you save. My German lady, uh, her husband was working. She was a jockey. She was, uh, her husband was working in the international airport. So uh, she said, um, Guruji, with all that, she said, I, I told my mother about your school in Jakur. Of course, um, Jakur, uh, that uh, school which you constructed, uh, that uh, Pai brothers uh, did not allow us to continue by telling some lies and they took over the property. It is still lying down there. Uh, it's a different topic. This German lady, the pain is because many people have put in a lot of effort over there. <laughs> this German lady said she went and told her mom when she went for holiday, she made cakes. Hmm. And she went to many, many festivals roadside telling we are collecting funds for Rakum school classrooms. <laughs> she collected two and a half lakhs. She came and gave to me. I said, no, no, I did not take it. You constantly. She put in money, four lakhs. She got a beautiful, beautiful classroom. Four classrooms they got with. Very beautifully done. All destroyed. I told her, maybe these people, we are on rent. Not rent also. Given a place to stay. When they will ask and they'll throw us out, we do not know. And exactly that happened after a while, year's time. These people became greedy. They threw us out from there. Painful. Mm. We were thrown out without getting another one place. We went to Krishna Bhairai Guru, who was a uh, MLA in that area, minister. We asked him also for an alternative place. When he could get, we didn't even ask alternative. We said, give us a place for rent also. He said, who will give you for rent? We've been literally thrown out. We suffered a lot. 